So these are some of the system apps. It includes me credits, which is some sort of payment system which you can buy teams and other apps online. We've got an updater. This is actually updated on a weekly basis and I just updated it to version 3.7.12. Right now it's checking for updates and I've got the latest of course. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We've got an antivirus. Yes, it comes with a built-in antivirus. Different compared to other um, roams out there and even other firmwares by uh, competitors or even Samsung themselves. They don't even include an antivirus, which is pretty cool. We've got backup. I guess this is backup with the Mi Cloud also. Um, we've got password. You've got data usage, you know, if, if on Saturday. And just look at that. Look at that. It's got a beautiful interface. What's not to love about the Mi Roam? Let's head back. Let's check. Uh, we've got auto start. Anti spam, never check that out yet. And there's the Mi Cloud, which I won't get into actually in this video because I haven't really fully checked it out. But the interesting is, I want to share with you guys this phone can actually have custom teams. You can download them from the store. This is the online store for the MiU teams. There are hundreds, dozens, and hundreds. And as you can see, some of them it says 4MI credits, which is sort of payment. Um, their payment system, their own payment system. You can also download the lock screen, different locks, lock screen wallpaper, wallpaper icon, ringtone notifications, etc. Or you can download the team package. And um, I downloaded a few. I have the iOS 7 team, which I'll show you guys in a moment. This funky looking, uh, f funny cartoonish team. This other team, which is kind of artistically, and this one, which is the Superman. So we got here the Superman team. As you can see, the second hand is actually Superman, which is cool. Check out and change the different icons, and let's check out the lock screen. Oh, come on, this is just wonderful. Just to unlock him, just hold him. He's supposed to unlock. there finally but yeah it gets you have to get used to it and I want to show you guys another team which is the iOS 7 so sometimes you might need to restart the device because there's some new font that needs to you know restart the device but luckily for this one you don't need to restart it so there we go we got the iOS 7 doesn't that look remind you of the iOS 7 it even has a 3d you know, perspective uh, background wallpaper. If you bring down the notifications, same thing. It's, it's awesome. I like this. And of course, you can install the typical Android apps via the Play Store. And lastly, of course, I want to show you guys a funky cartoonish theme. I have no idea what this is called. It's in Chinese, but if you guys can read the Chinese characters, feel free to put a comment uh, below. So of course this has to be restarted since it's got its own font. So I'll be back once the phone has been restarted. Hey guys, we're back again and we got the new team. So as you can see, it's got the time over there, the date, the weather, and this funky looking lock screen. Check this out, you can unlock, you can move that around, you can go to messaging. Or if you just want to simply want to unlock, just push this down or pull it down. So it says slide down with two fingers to switch to my space or me space, my space, whatever you call it. So check this out. It's, in, it's creating this my space. All right. Check this out. It's got, it's like different apps. There's the weather over there. There's the camera. There's some sort of chat or QQ because that's popular, known, popular in China. Go to the music somewhere here, call. And if you click it, I believe let's say if you press call, you go into the call to the dialer, to the dialer. Check that out. You can go back again and we're back here. This is absolutely awesome. And you know, Android and iOS definitely need to get some, you know, inspiration 
and some ideas but definitely don't obviously rip rip off the idea from the my ui or me ui as you can see it's totally got different icons now and it looks in a different font also and as you can see the date is in chinese the month and the year so i forgot to mention about the settings so let's check out settings here and there are two types of settings there's common settings and complete settings we're going to take a look at complete settings so basically it's similar very similar to what you get on an android phone and um yeah it's nothing different at all it's basically the same same amount of settings but there are a few certain things which are different for example the status bar settings in which you can uh, play around with such as the toggle layout for example compact so when you put this down you've got the shortcuts down here put it on page look something like this so yeah there are a few things which you can play around with and um, uh, let's see what else we got here. We've got battery, we've got different uh, a battery indicator style. I'm using percentage, battery use, which is of course similar to Androids again. So that's basically about the settings. So yeah, this is basically the My UI or the Mi U, uh, Mi UI or My UI, whatever you want to call it again, for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. This is a great ROM very stable since it's based on Samsung's firmware battery life is pretty decent and um, I highly recommend um, this ROM if you want to change if you want to get a similar experience to iOS or if you just want to change from Android get this ROM it's perfect for you if you want to customize with the different teams it has a freaking online library of hundreds of free themes designed by other users so it's great for you and this this ROM is actually can be found on a few other phones which are being which are developed or sorry manufactured in China, including the Op Oppa or the Op I forgot I believe it's the Oppa or Oppo. It's a it's a European. It's quite popular in Europe and in the U.S. now. And the benefit of the Mi ROM it's updated every week, so it's it's got a very active community out there, very active developers. And Android and iOS certainly have to take a look at this ROM, study it, and hopefully they can apply some of its features and user experience onto their own platforms. So this has been the MiU or the MyUI ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GD9100. If you got any questions, any comments, or any suggestions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. So don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash, don't forget to visit wiredmash.com and most of all, thanks for watching.